This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking? See my lines not dated, but I tell every day. The day they release us is false. Meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, NASDAQ is selling $5 billion, with a B, $5 billion worth of debt to fund the acquisition of a Denza software company. Okay, and it's actually a $10.5 billion deal with $5.7 billion in cash. And I think about, you know, a couple of hundred thousand shares of NASDAQ. But what it seems like, NASDAQ is attempting to morph into a financial software company. That's what it appears to me. They, they, they want to be a financial tech firm where they could have more algorithms to control the trading. And in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, based on everything I've seen, the more technologically proficient these companies get, the easier it is for them to rob from retail investors and pension funds. All this new technology, all this advanced algorithms does not help us. It gives them more opportunity to take advantage of retail investors and pension funds at a higher margin on a quicker algorithm without us even being aware that we're being taken advantage of. So, and this is just my opinion. They're going to be able to work a lot better with with Citadel and and, and Virtue and BlackRock and all these other all these other big dogs. And in the end, will that benefit retail investors? I don't think so. I think Nasdaq become. <laughs> I believe that 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 it's going to be harmful to retail investors. But that's really the bottom line. That just gives them another tool in their arsenal to take advantage of retail investors. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that NASDAQ spending $5 billion to fund the Adenza software acquisition, do you think that's going to be beneficial to retail investors? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.